This is a favorite among our regulars. Bamboo shoots, meat and ham are cooked together, creating a richly flavored soup. Pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat. Mm, you'll never get enough of it. All of them? We only have three. No, two and a half people? Isn't that too much food? That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. <clears throat> Squirrelfish, Juyu chili chicken, and Juyu soup, please. Sure. And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? I... I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? Um, around 20,000 mora. Then, uh, I'll... I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. Paimon's been thinking about something since we started eating. Is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? I heard that. I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar... ...and dangerous. So, not eating the dishes we ordered is also part of an astrologist's pride? Paimon doesn't get it. But it feels kind of bad that only we got to feast. Oh, yes! We can do that! Just give us a minute. You don't use more to fulfill your desires, so it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? Let's go borrow the kitchen from the innkeeper. Nothing so. You need to get something from A to B. Hello, how may I help you? We'd like to borrow the kitchen here. Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you've prepared your own ingredients, feel free to use the kitchen. If I may add one more thing. You must be quite well versed in the art of cooking, yes? <laughs> Talented indeed. Actually, I have- From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. But, since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue-style cuisine? I have a recipe for golden crab with me. It's a Yue cuisine classic. It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep-fried, and then pan-fried together with ginger and garlic. When you finally plate up, the crab seems to be lying on gold. Golden... crab... Golden crab! Golden crab! <laughs> With your skills in the kitchen, this will be a cinch. Let me guess where you're from.
Penny's adventure. Something from A to B. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. I am a little hungry, but it's not a big deal. This aroma is. It's incredible. Fine. Since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Mm. This golden crab is too delicious. I have never eaten anything this good in my life. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I never knew that my disciple was this skilled. As your master, I am most comforted. I see that it's no boast to call them Liyue's delicacies. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should reach the Stone Gate, and from there we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. What deep mysteries shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Adventure time! We go. Whew, that was tiring, but we're finally in Mondstadt. The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. That's because you float. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Are you also resting your feet here? Who are you? Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue, and we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What say you to coming along for the ride? No need, no need. We're already heading that way anyway. There's no need. Now, shoo, get out of our way. Huh? Miss, is there something wrong? Cease your pretensions, bandit. Picking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? 
If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said, and all will come to light. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liwa Harbor tonight. How about it? If you're real legitimate businessmen, there's nothing to fear, is there? You... You... You've pushed it too far, brat. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Don't fret, it's just a few bandits. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists? Well then, this is a good time to show you what your master can do. I'll blow Finish. you away! I'm going in! By royal decree! What? Yeah. Enhanced cannon will module 75! Delve into destiny! Let me scry! What did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? Uh, <laughs> such things are elementary for an astrologist. Lies are worthless before astrology. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. But you did hit some bumps in the road! That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight into your fate. Whatever the case, you've got everything to gain from this trip. All right, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. <sighs> if only we had a cart. Oh, I thought you weren't tired. 